Minasan. I assume you are already familiar with this merge request, aren't you? Um, well, if not, it basically removes the build targets, for example, the desktop files for running GNOME X session, but it keeps all the Xorg code. It means that if you run GNOME OS, you won't have X session available on GDM screen, but for downstream distros will be super simple to revert back. It looks like a plan. Wanna play with me? <laughs> None. They just switching to Wayland and hoping for the best. Three to four years back, I have made a terrible comment on Wayland, so one GNOME developer was like, You know me, coding is harder than doing videos. Hey, Chief, have you ever tried to create a video on Wayland? There are all kinds of visual glitches with the NVIDIA drivers, at least. The input lags on several X Wayland apps, even the drag and drop is failing on main, and of course, if shell crashes, you are doomed. And then it's your comments here on the channel. Hey, me! Gnome developers don't care for Linux users anymore, or, yo me, Gnome developers only do phones. But you are so completely, totally wrong. Gnome only cares for Linux and nothing else matters. So close, no matter how far, couldn't be. For instance, in the previous merge request, one GIMP maintainer is like, Please don't drop X11 so soon because we don't have basic color management, so Wayland is not yet ready for graphics professionals. Man, nobody cares for graphics professionals. This is Linux. Then he goes, as maintainer of GIMP and member of GNOME, I really don't want to tell other pros that they should use something else. First of all, pros don't use GIMP, or Linux for that matter. And second, go ahead and do it. The glorious Valve does it already, so I don't think if GIMP joins will make much of a difference. On the official Steam documentation for VR devices, it lists the compositors that can support VR headsets and VR controllers. And for Wayland, we have KDE and Plasma, and the desktops that use Wayland roots like Sway and Hyperland. Um, GNOME is missing here, and the reason is that Mutter doesn't support DRM leasing. The workaround? Apt install KDE Plasma Desktop and Plasma Workspace Wayland, and just hope for the best. As expected, there is an issue open, and it's open for two years without much of a progress. And not to forget this isn't just about Steam, but it affects everything that depends on headsets, like Blender and Unreal Engine, so it's super important to accomplish before you can make Wayland default. This thread is super big, but the short version is if they should implement the DRM leasing directly on Compositor using the Wayland protocol, or if they should implement it with portals and have a permission store for sandbox apps. Well... We have a portal for the camera, so I don't see why we shouldn't for a headset display. Perhaps the very next time you're going to cheer up for the VR support in Plasma, just remember that the KDE team proudly opened a privacy hole to your computer. Even worse, now GNOME should follow, and I bet they will follow, because Valve and anyone else won't care to do things properly. If Steam works on KDE, it's fine for them, even if it really isn't for us. In the meantime, have you thought of the fact that Wayland is already more years in Gnome Shell than Xorg? Really? Wayland became default in Gnome in 2016, which means it's seven years there. One year more than X session if we start counting from Gnome 3 in 2010. Actually, Wayland is 15 years old already, but it still feels like something new, isn't it? So you should know by now. There won't be games, there won't be graphics, there won't be a year of the Linux desktop, and definitely Wayland will never work, the same way Xorg never worked. But Linux isn't a destination, it's the journey. <laughs>